I just I don't know what you want me to do. I want to leave. We must. <laughs> you don't understand. Honey buns. I hope you're doing really well this week. It's a nice, cool, rainy night. The goddesses are serving spook, and we got a spooky movie to boot. And I'm really excited for this one, y'all. We are on to our new series. Y'all have been suggesting it for a while. We are finally getting into the James Wan oeuvre. Now, let me say this. I was very hesitant to start these movies and that's why it has taken us so long to get here. I don't know much about these. The series that we're gonna start with is Insidious. What I do know about James Wan's body of work is that as far as horror goes, they're quite well done and therefore it can really get in here. <laughs> I just didn't know if I should start in a place like that. But now that I am verse, I feel like this is gonna be a good time. Yes, we are starting with Insidious. This movie came out in 2010. I have no idea if these are connected to The Conjuring, if they take place in the same world or what, I don't know. The series came out like a few years apart. The Insidious series came out first. So we're gonna start at the beginning. If the stories aren't connected and it's just the same director with, I think there are like even the some of the same actors in both of the series, then whatever, that'll be fun. And if they are connected, then we're starting in the right place. Both of my sisters are fans of the Conjuring series. We've never talked about Insidious, I don't think. All I know is when I would come downstairs and these movies were on, I would run to the kitchen, get my snack and mind my business. So <laughs> I don't know much about them other than they star Patrick Wilson. <laughs> Rose Byrne is in them as well. It seems like a, a dark sidedness involving children, which y'all, y'all know my soft spot for the youth. <laughs> Just one more reason why I didn't jump in here. But reasons aside, we doing it now. Wish me well, y'all. Oh, y'all, this series. I just gotta chill. I don't know if it was this or if it's cold in this room. Okay. <laughs> Tune your violin. What is that? Y'all. <laughs> oh, okay. Why are you coming in so hot? I have so many questions. I'm not even sure what I just witnessed in any way. There was a ghostly figure in the window. There was a Einstein looking figure in a portrait, in a mirror. I don't know what that was. Oh. You need a nasal strip. I would struggle sleeping next to that. Roll him over. <laughs> Are y'all moving in or out? Oh, she's unpacking. Hey, sweetie. Magic pajamas. <laughs> Having children really changes the body, son. You're old now. Boy. How old is he? 21. <laughs> I wish you were right. Can I get a picture of my dad with a little kid? Yeah, I wish I could, but I don't think we have any. It's really hopeless to keep any photos. <laughs> this gives me anxiety. <laughs> What is he doing while she's wrangling all three of these damn kids? Speak to an agent! <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, but I wasn't gonna say nothing because she got a lot going on. <laughs> oh, who did that? Honey, if you want to look at my books, please don't leave them all over the floor. I didn't touch your books. Are you gonna take the boys to school? I can't today. the look of her situation. <laughs> I bet girl <laughs> you wake up and start doing labor before you even eat a snack let alone a meal. That baby is cute though. 
Is the ghost of this home harassing y'all's baby? Or are those normal tears? <laughs> jarring to the eye <laughs> absolutely not hello oh she stays home and does work all day he has to go to work and as soon as he gets home the kids are like play with me <laughs> sorry i know this is how most people live but it just like whoo i'm tired i can't i can't even look at it without being tired that door would be locked even if it weren't for whatever phantom of the opera is living in here i would not like the idea of my kids having access unfettered access to a place like this it's dark it's creepy there's stuff everywhere there's a furnace i just mm -mm. dangerous <laughs> little hero you in danger girl This ladder is rickety as I'll get out. Oh, baby! He didn't even yell or shout or nothing. The whole house would have knew if I fell like that. <laughs> Who? He is just shouting. Shouting what, babe? Are you okay? Can you move it? Can you move your legs? Is that okay? That is not why he's shouting, though. Up in your head. Gosh. Okay. What else, babe? Honey, you cannot come up here. It's very dangerous. Okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay, baby. Like you're a kid. Like I would expect nothing less. That's why I would have had that shit locked. Scared of somebody? Yes, it's very scary. But why were you yelling like that? Your sheet music is up. Ooh, that knot on his head is big. I don't know. Figure out a way to lock the door, Ma. Good. Ma thinks we're different in this house. I said such a bad day. I'm scared nothing's gonna change. It will, I promise you. Honey, what we're was just it? Give it time. What was it like before? Like, what? What is the issue? Thanks for not playing me. Take some time away from the music. Come on, I want you to do it. It's a really song about me. They're all about you. Yeah, like a cool idea. Um, <laughs> her songs are about wishes unfulfilled. <laughs> oh, look at the baby. Wind in the trees? Why is that alarming? Sweetie. Can you go wake up Not even a good warning. I mean. <laughs> Sleep pads, get up. Sleep pads. Get out of that bed. I don't like it. Kill us both. What? He's not even stirring at all. Did he hit his head really hard? Hey. Babe! No! Dalton. I'm scared. Dalton? Oh, oh god, oh god. What's wrong with your baby? There is no brain damage that we've detected. Technically, yes. He's in a coma. He doesn't react to stimuli. His scans are all normal. Oh, the phantom. There's gotta be something. I'm sorry. Oh, their lives are ruined. So, ah! So it's only been a couple of days. It could take a little longer. Excuse me, I'm gonna have to step up. That rustle in the wind put him in a coma three months later. Inserted a nasogastric feeding tube to get dormant. Oh my goodness, he still hasn't woken up. She just wanted to move into her new house, refocus on her music while she raised her little kids. And now she's having to learn to insert a feeding tube. This is bleak. What's that? Uh-uh, go check. Is that whispering? What? The voice is saying there's nothing you can do. Why are you walking so slow? Girl. Is there another adult in your house? Why are you hearing the voice of an adult man say there's nothing you can do in your baby's room and you're just downstairs listening? What the, why did you wait to, for it to get to that point? What is that? Girl. What the heck? 
actual fuck though. <gasps> need to pack there's just no way we can't stay here we can't I wouldn't check with my baby in my arms what if a man did jump out of there then what she's just okay with it she's not gonna address it at all what's this in a boy did you get this today baby Honey? why don't you why tell, don't you tell us? <laughs> he sees how overwhelmed everybody is right Devastating for the whole family. I'm scared, Mom. I hear you, baby. Me too. Terrified. What? Don't do it. Can I change rooms? What? I don't like when he walks around at night. What? Baby, what? My sweet angel, elaborate. <laughs> if that's been happening, how come you didn't tell us that? I mean, I guess they made it clear that he hasn't been communicating because he too is traumatized. But I don't want to see. I don't want to see it. But I can't look away. Yeah, honey, just close your little door. He's so scared. Imagine not running to your mom and dad's room. <laughs> I heard this noise coming from Kelly's room. Voices, and I ran up here and there was no one. Interference, this thing's always picking up somebody else's. Uh, no. Uh, no husband, no. So it was sinister uh, in nature. I hear it on the monitor and I turned up the volume and I... What the hell is that? You need to run. Don't walk. They hesitate a lot. They hesitate a lot for somebody with three small children in the house, one of which is in a very bad situation. I don't know. I just don't know. What is it? Oh, you're just going to go out, Father? Why was your door open? You didn't even unlock a lock. Hello? I detest. <laughs> I just, I don't, I hate everything about it. <laughs> oh my god, y'all! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. standing right there. Uh oh! No! Somebody here. I saw someone. Okay, no one's all in this room. We have to go, we have to go right now. <laughs> we can't stay. What? What are you seeing? Oh my god! With the chain? The alarm company should come. At least, father. <laughs> Ooh, I just hate when something is lurking in the home. Oh, your front door is still open. Everything about it, I hate. <laughs> what is going on? As quick as those boxes were unloaded, they could be reloaded. See you tomorrow. How could you go to work and stuff? Something is horribly amiss. <laughs> they just told me I've got to, uh, I got to, I'm going to have to stay late tonight. To, uh, mm. I got to grade some tests. And all. Actually, I need a leave of absence. <laughs> I can't leave my family home late on their own after a mysterious break in. <laughs> What is that? What is that? Is that a memory? Is the phantom attached to you or the home? What was going on in your last house? Please! We have to give it time. I feel like the universe is just trying to see how far I'll bend before I break. Well, the universe picked a fight with the wrong chick. <sighs> I'm sorry, that's not enough, nurse flower scrubs. <laughs> like, I know you're trying to be sweet, but I'm on my last motherfucking leg. You have no idea. <laughs> I can only imagine the debt they're going into as well. Like, he's a high school teacher. <gasps> What the what? Oh, it's, it's the devil's bloody handprint. If it's just grading, why can't you do that at home? We are fighting for our lives here. <laughs> Husband. It's 10.30. We've been coming home late every single night. In all the years we've worked at the school, we've never had to do that. Why all of a sudden are oh. you staying back late? What choice do I have? He just can't handle being at home. Dalton's bills. I'm so scared. I'm scared. He's my son too. Not of that. There's something wrong with this place. I'm not imagining it. Mm -hmm. I can feel it. I, I have seen. Oh my! It's just. You think our house is haunted? 
but something I like that. I know it. <laughs> I walk into the kitchen at night to get a drink. I can feel eyes on me. I'm, I can't be in there alone. No, y'all gotta go. Please, y'all need to leave. Those grading tests. <laughs> I mean, you're just avoiding it. It does seem quite dismissive. Like everything is stressful, whether it's this or parking. Oh, God, stop saying that. I was dealing with it my own fucking way. Okay, well, I need you to deal with it alongside my ass, okay? <laughs> like, hello, partner. Can we get on the same page? I'll deal with this. <sighs> However, turning on each other is not the answer. You sleeping on the couch? Uh-uh, hell no. A uh, ritual of some sort? What the f Why did her voice echo like that? <laughs> oh. Who? What? Why? What? This is the second floor. How Who's doing that? Josh? Pacing? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> oh, God. This is really scary. I don't know. I don't know about this. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like it. This is why y'all can't sleep separate. If you had been here, you would have seen this bitch with your own eyes. I just... We must. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> we have to flee if we want to live. I can't do this. <laughs> my kids, my motherfucking children. I can't. Thank you. Okay, we're packing. We're going. <sighs> Praise. Ugh. Fuck the realtor. I like whoever sold you this house is the devil as well. Oh, this new place is sweet. A little cottage situation. <laughs> Josh's whole life. I know, but I feel terrible. You should be sitting down by the looks of it. <sighs> yeah, I'm spent. I can't believe you got Josh to hold still for a photo. What, do you what mean? I can't believe is that we are doing this. The haunted one is Joshua, because what do you mean, ma'am? Why will he refuse to have a photo taken? Why is he having these dreams of creepiness? Not me or anybody knows what you're going through. I mean, it's good. Whatever you have to do to it's get through it, do it. How do I know this lady? She's a mama from Black Swan with the grapefruit. Look how pink, so pretty. <laughs> Girl, I hope you're not gonna terrorize us in this film as well. Like you did Natalie Portman. <laughs> we got enough going on. <laughs> what the hell was that facing the wall? This house is brighter and smaller, so I guess that much about it is much less stressful. <laughs> Haunted, like, sailor boy? A little news boy? Who is that child? I thought it was a lawn jockey when it was in the other room. What's going on? What do y'all want from her? Oh, girl. No matter where you go. Oh! I'm disgusted. Oh, Lord. Would I even follow the phantom boy? I don't know. I think I would probably just <laughs> run out of the house and commit myself. <laughs> Are the kids here? Is Mother Grapefruit still home? I'd be like, I'm losing it. My faculties are scattered to the wind. I don't know what's real. I don't know what's fiction. I don't know what's phantom. Girl, where would your son get a newsboy outfit? You got a hockey stick? This ghost child from the 19th century? <laughs> I mean, what does one even do, girl? I know, me too. She's a priest. I know that's right. <laughs> Please exercise my house. Just a joke, right? Guy comes in, he's like, 
him someone to find his wife with a priest. Are you drunk? <laughs> Thank you so much for the tea. This thing from the other house has followed us here. I... So what, you just brought a priest in there? Why are you talking to me in this tone, first of all? Please, it has a Babadook hand. You want the boy? It's a Dalton. Oh, please don't take my son. husband at least you see what what is he gonna do it must be attached to him somehow why did it peek out from him like that you're willing to ask i don't know this is stuck is that a hot pocket you must be josh why are there two mormons eating a hot pocket in your foyer right now where is elise she sent us ahead help sweet out the nut jobs the tech stuff's not really relevant to you guys anyway it's all i don't like these two Starfleet series one. Stop it. Should've got that in its box. You're making a mockery of me right now. <laughs> my suffering is real. Why do you care about this figurine? Make all this equipment myself, you know. It's impressive. Not that hot, you know what you do. Yeah, that one's basically a modified toy. Yeah, I was thinking that actually. I used to have the Pocahontas one. You click it and each slide is a different still from the movie. <laughs> It's the clock? Well, damn, we don't need this clock. <laughs> Start a fire. <laughs> oh, God. The jump scares are making me ill. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> what is, why are you here if you're so scared, sir? This is your line of work. Huh? Since you last saw me. Your mother and I have been friends a long time. I don't think that wiring is the problem here. May I walk through the house? Girl, whatever the fuck you need, you do it. Whatever you need, you do what you gotta do. What do you need that for? She tells me what she sees and I draw. Leave the light off. Hey, donkey. Miss Elise, what do you sense, girl? How can she see it? How can she see it with her naked eye? Even when we can. What is it? What? He is Satan. I'm not sure if you're ready to hear this yet. Girl, spit it out. I can't waste any time easing you into it. Uh, nor should you. Let's jump in. I want you to know this is what I believe, and it may contradict a previous medical diagnosis, but... Fuck the medicine. You We've seen the devil. Here, I'm taking that as an acceptance of my reading. Yes, we accept. I'm sorry I questioned your Mormons. Your son isn't in a coma. No. Falling off the ladder had nothing to do with this. His physical body is here. Mm -hmm. His spiritual body is not. These disturbances, they followed you to a new home. It's because it's not the house that's haunted. It's Josh. It's your son. Oh, it's Dalton. Okay. What got in him? Have you ever heard of astral projection? Um, out of body experience? I like to call them travelers. Now, Dalton, he is a very accomplished astral projector. Okay. He's been doing it in his sleep for a long time. Okay. 
and he's unafraid because he thinks they're dreams. And it's that very lack of fear that has led him to travel too far, become lost. Lost? In hell? In a place that I call the further. Girl, what? World far beyond our own. Okay, how do we tether him back to his body? Filled with the tortured souls of the dead. A place not meant for the living. Girl, please. Solutions. That's where Dalton is. With his astral body gone, he's just left us with an empty vessel. Okay. There are entities that know this because they can smell it. Okay. Remedies? Have you any? But there are other entities. Josh, you're freaking me out. Have a more insidious agenda. A demon seeks Dalton's body for one reason to cause pain to others. I'm really I cold. The closest, but is there anything we can do? There's something we could try. Okay! Enact it! Girl, I don't give a fuck. But I would need your complete trust. Whatever. No, no, no. No, I'm sorry, we have to try. Josh, you said that you would give her a no, chance. No, I have given her a chance. You want to believe anybody. What? what? She's you seen. Do you think she's just crazy? I mean, I guess I could. I moved houses for you. This is dangerous and exploitative. Oof. You guys come I hear him, home, but I. Seriously ill child. I don't know. Can you make some tenuous connections? But that's your mom's friend. What does she have to gain? Y'all ain't got no money. You got two houses in escrow at the same time. <laughs> walked into the room and it was in complete and utter disarray. What do you feel happened there? The fact that these dark drawings have existed and never been commented on. Mm -mm. He is showing you the way, sir. <gasps> He said, Father? <laughs> Recognize the real. I'm spiritual. I am endowed with otherworldly powers. My soul can leave my body and a devil can crawl in. Call back, Miss Elise. Thank you. Honestly, if I was Renee, I would have did them drawings on my own. <laughs> Anything to convince him. You're gonna see a lot of confusing things. Things you don't understand. But do not question them and do not speak in any way. <laughs> Okay, fine, whatever. I'm already in it. Girl, just save my son. I'm terrified though, I'm not gonna lie. Um, why do you need that? Are we in a Chernobyl-esque situation? Ew. Girl, you're quite a hero for doing this for a living because I can't imagine. We are calling out to you, Dalton. been searching for you. Follow my voice, Dalton. If they hear me, they'll hurt me. Who will hurt you? Who will hurt you, Dalton? I wouldn't make it through this process. <laughs> on his face. <sighs> there is no yeah. Why? Where is he trapped? Why is he trapped there? The documentarian in the background is tripping me out, too. I can't take this. Every time he orbits into the frame. Filthy whore! Ugh, who is that? That's not Dalton! Ripping the, of the innards? Please, don't threaten to rip my innards. Is this toward Elise? that red baba dude <laughs> it's his family of three. Oh, his backhand is strong ew ew oh my god oh my god can the husband see this happening it is picking her up how can it do that ew the tongue is coming out this is beyond i can't get out of the child oh my god Oh my god. 
Oh, police, did you do it? Where's that Ozzy Osbourne looking motherfucker? Is he still there? The face licker, is he gone? Ugh, it's moving his hand. No, the fur boots are too much. Fuck you for real. I asked your mother to come over. There's something we must talk about. You have been possessed before. You also can project. That's why you were leaving your body in the dreams? Is that what that was? The reason I need to call Elise in this situation is because I called her myself to help you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's no accident that your son is a gifted traveler. The ability was handed down to him by his father. Why you didn't tell his ass? Quite the liability to be carrying around. I might have adopted had I known. You uh, were terrified of an old woman who said used to come visit you at night. Oh, that's what was happening in the opening. Ugh. Oh, it's giving Miss Havisham despicable. Yikes, she's always there. In each photo, he got closer. How does he have no memory of this? Remember? <gasps> is this honey to you? Why not? No, I, I don't. Suppressing your memory and your ability to astral project was the only way to stop her from getting into you. Oh. But in the back of your mind, you're still afraid to have your picture taken, aren't you? Oh. God. My body's Lorraine. Wow. Well, honestly, if I had known sooner, maybe my son wouldn't be in this predicament. Fuck y'all, I'm sorry. So he has to go and get him? How do you reignite his ability to astral project? Now that he knows, can he just do it? Good luck, Raul. You fought phantoms before. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You've done it before. Close your eyes, Josh. The universe is deathless. Because having no finite self, it stays infinite. A sound man, by not advancing himself, stays the further ahead of himself. I don't even like the sound of this. I feel like you're doing a spell on me too. I don't want it. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, honey. Don't stand there shocked. Go and get your boy. <laughs> this is creepy as shit. Okay. She vanished. Girl, I can't even hear you anymore. How do I get to the further? Am I already there? How do I find my son? Where is he? Do I just call out to him and fight the ghosts along the way? I just wade into the mist? Girl, I thought your voice was to be my God. Why can't I hear you? Toss a breadcrumb. Was that not him? That's you! I don't get it. How is the little you there? You're guiding yourself. Back to this house? He's in. <laughs> Girl. Wait. Nah, let that bride find her groom. You need to look for your son. What? Who's crying in that corner? What's wrong with you? You know what? Don't even answer. It's not my business. Hello? Keep it moving, Patrick. I'm looking for my son, Dalton. <laughs> that divorcee is not your problem. Neither is this newsboy. Oh, Lord. These ones are extra creepy. Why are you three? Why are you mannequin-like? Your porcelain faces are haunting. Don't look so close. If you don't let this wax figurine burn that shirt on her own and go find your son, what can you do for them? Exactly, back away. Who? Oh? Where's my son? Girl, who are you shooting? Oh. Once again, none of your business. I hate to say it, but. <laughs> Are you gonna save this Dahlia? No, there's nothing you can do. 
<laughs> Why is the mess thickening? Why is this boy not answering? Oh, behind the red door. I hate it. Go ahead and go. Oh, it's Ozzy. Should you have taken the shotgun from that black dahlia? Police, please, please. Oh, she is doing nothing. She's like, I cannot. More stronger, you are the one alive. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so the phantoms are no match for a person who still has corporeal form. Good for you. It is just like you dreamed it. Ugh. Dalton, what are you doing in this vampire lair? He's seen it all. He goes here frequently. Dalton, why are you just in here crying? Dalton? Daddy? Oh boy. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Daddy, I'm okay. okay, Lord! Daddy's here. What about the vampire? Is it coming back? Is it the Babadook that's keeping you? What? Is it the newsboy? I hate this song. What's up there? What is that? No. He can sew? Why is this Satan such a weirdo? Oh God. We gotta go home, okay? He's okay. Yeah. Sir, <laughs> I will not allow you to take my child. Hooved beast. Take your ass back up there and keep working on that singer sewing machine and leave me alone. Whatever look you're creating to match that fur boot, why don't you finish it? We're leaving. <laughs> Ooh. It has cat eyes. He found your son. He needs to find us. Why are we still in the abyss? Well, it's very scary, son. It's as scary as it could be. I mean, not a thing could incite more fear. <laughs> you grubby little creatures need to give it up. Joshua, please. Daddy, listen, I think it's mommy. Oh, sweet little angel, my God. What if they all follow it? Did it work? Mm. All these dark openings, I just. What? Somebody took a dish towel? Why? In there! Steven, Lorraine, go check on Dalton. Oh, oh, oh. Go check on Dalton. Who? The ones we sent for? The others. <laughs> mm -mm. No one in a top hat or a ratty bridal gown is permitted to enter. Oh, they're back. Oh my God. Okay, I know you're tired, but. Why can't you keep going? You'd have made it this far, Joshua. Why are you uh, 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 stuck on stupid now? And why would you separate from your son? It's too dangerous. He's never even been to this house. He doesn't know which one is his room. <laughs> He's being dragged. Why did you leave him? Come on, boy. Good job. What do you want from me? Why do you need to confront her now? This seems like not the best use of our limited time. Get away from me! This is just beyond! This is so much. Oh my goodness, this is not bed or bath. This is motherfucking beyond. Which one is that? Is that Josh? That lady didn't get his body, did she? 
We're in our right bodies, correct? I mean, I'm nervous. It's okay. It's okay. So we did it. Everything's okay. Girl! <laughs> Name your price. <laughs> I know you're hungry for solid food, baby. I'm tired too. No, you can't be tired. Yes, I can. No, you've been asleep before. You showed me a new world. <laughs> What? 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 At least what the fuck was that girl? What? 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 Nothing what? What do you mean what? Why did you do that? You know how I feel about that. Why? <gasps> oh, that's not Josh. Oh, that. Oh, oh this is ghastly. That old hag took his body. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's how we get in a sequel. Disgusting. <laughs> we already know, but let us see. Oh, her withered hand is what gave it away. Wow, despicable. I'm gonna tell you this much. If I had watched this movie earlier, I would not have made it. <laughs> That's scary, y'all. I'm a sucker for a jump scare. Like, I'm gonna jump every time and I'm gonna be scared. That was relentless. <laughs> mm, it was quite an experience. I am terrified to go further into the series. <laughs> The next ones are gonna be worse than that. I was interested, I was invested. The characters are very easy to become attached to, but I just, <sighs> that was horrifying. Oh, Elise was the teacher from Nightmare on Elm Street. That's, that's her, that's her, okay. Oh, somebody did tell me that there was gonna be, um, was it Kelly? Somebody told me that there was gonna be a character from Nightmare on Elm Street. Anyway, y'all, that movie was something else. I enjoyed it and hated it both at the same time. I guess we're gonna carry on y'all. We're gonna see what the next ones have to offer. Talk to you, but it's serious. I love y'all. I'm about to like, oof, I don't know. I'm about to go watch something very light, very sweet, very funny. I'm going to have a cup of coffee. I'm gonna maybe eat some chocolate or something. Just like, I'm not gonna carry on with that in my mind and heart for the rest of the night though. I can tell you that much. Love y'all. Talk to me and I'll see you.